What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video we're going to learn how to take text in Python and turn it into a binary format, which means that we take something like a text message and turn it into a series of zeros and ones. So let us get right into it. All right, so this one's going to be quite simple. We're going to take a simple message, turn it into a sequence of zeros and ones. Then we're going to take that resulting sequence and turn it back into human readable text in Python. And all of this will be done with core Python without any external modules and even without importing anything from the core Python stack. So we're going to use just the basic functions available without using any imports. So a quite fundamental task here, a quite basic task. Uh, and we're going to start here with a simple message object, which is going to say... Hello world, this is my message. And this is something that we want to encode now uh, into a sequence of zeros and ones. And in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take the individual characters, H, E, L, and so on, and we're going to get the ASCII code from Python. We're going to take that numerical value and we're going to turn it into a binary value. So we're going to take the number, uh, for example, if you have the number three, that would be in binary one, one, because one times one, one times two. Uh, and one, one, one would be seven, because you have one times four, one times two, one times one, which in fact, is seven. And if you have something like one, zero, one, it would be four plus one, which would be five. So we're going to just take the ASCII code and turn it into a binary number. And then we're going to take all these uh, binary values, and we're going to um, to use white spaces to separate them. So each character will be one sequence of zeros and ones separated. Uh, so the individual characters are going to be separated by white spaces. This is the idea. And in order to do that, we're going to say now binary equals. And in order to get the ASCII code of one character in Python, maybe before we get the actual result, let's play around with this a little bit. In order to get the ASCII code of one specific uh, character in Python, we use the so-called ORT function. So if I say, for example, ORT A, capital A, this will return to me um, the, the value 65. So if I say lowercase a, that will be a different value, 97, as you can see here. Um, and we can get any ASCII code of any character that is, of course, uh, supported by the ASCII encoding. Uh, we can get it with the ORT function. So all we need to do is we need to take each individual character here, including the white spaces, and encode it or, or calculate or get the ASCII code using the ORT function. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get this uh, number, this resulting number, and format it into a binary format. So we're going to use another function called format. We're going to pass to it the ORT function uh, with, with the respective character. And we're going to say that the format is going to be B, which is binary. And as a result of that, we're going to get this number here. So this here is the binary representation of the ASCII code of A. And we're going to do that for each individual character. And we're going to combine all of them together uh, separated by white spaces. And in order to do that, we're going to use these three functions in a row. So we're going to say binary, and then we're going to use a white space here as the connector, so to say, and we're going to say dot join. Basically, for those of you who don't know what the join function does is it takes this separator here, and everything that we pass to it, it has to be a collection, will be joined together separated by whatever we put in here. So it doesn't have to be a white space, it can be whatever you want. But essentially, everything that we pass to the join function um, in, in the collection that we pass to the join function will be joined together uh, using this character or this string here as a separator. So we're going to pass here a list comprehension to the join function, which is going to say, actually, we don't need these uh, square brackets. We're going to say format the ORT of whatever character, we're going to call it C now, for C in message. And that's basically all we need to do. Because what happens now is, we take the message, we iterate over the characters for each character in the message, we're going to calculate the ASCII code, we're going to format it, oh, by the way, I forgot the B here, we're going to format it into a binary format, and the result will be joined together to a full string, or all the results will be joined together to a full string where each character is separated by white spaces. So if we now go ahead and say print binary, this would be the encoded message. So we have a sequence of zeros and ones uh, representing 
the message hello world this is my message with the exclamation marks with the white spaces and everything um, this is how you encode this now how do we decode this uh, it's not too different it's basically almost the same but we need to use two different functions we need to use the character function and the integer function so basically the typecasting functions uh, or actually the, the character function is more like the opposite of the ort function so you take a, a number and you turn it into a character um, so for that, what we're going to do is we're going to say the binary text is going to be equal to, and I'm going to do this manually, even though we could just take this variable here. So I would have to print binary first, then I'm going to copy all of this here. And we're going to take that here statically as the string. So this is going to be our string. We're going to delete all of this here. So we only have that in our script now. And in order to take this sequence of zeros and ones and turn it into a human readable format, what we now do is we say normal equals. And um, maybe again, before we do that, let's discuss the functions individually. If I use the function um, character, so chr, and I pass an integer to it. So for example, 32, and I print the result of this. Um, okay, in this case, this is not something that is visible. Let's go 45. We see a dash. Let's go 51. Uh, we see a three. What was a? I don't know what a was. Okay, but you can see what happens. You basically pass um, a number, you pass an integer, and it gives you the respective character. So you pass an ASCII code and you get a character. Now I want to find some character here. Okay, there you go. 70 is F. So you pass a number here and it turns it into a character. And what we want to do now is we want to take all these values here, turn them into character, uh, into characters, and then append them or join them together again, uh, without white spaces, of course, because each character, unless the character itself is a white space doesn't have to be separated by white spaces, obviously. Um, the problem that we have here, though, is that we cannot just go ahead and pass this here to the character because that would be uh, a million and uh, 1000. So that would not be interpreted as a binary number, uh, which is why we have to use the integer function as well. So if we say int, and then we pass to that integer, uh, some, some binary sequence here, and I then say comma two, so this is the base, then what happens is I get the number, the decimal number, that is the result of taking that and turning it into decimal. So if you take this sequence of digits and you interpret them as binary digits, uh, then the result is 45. So all we need to do now to get the normal text back is we need to say normal equals empty string join because we don't want to have any separators character of int of C2 for C in binary text. Because what we do now is, or actually, no, this is not true, sorry, binary text dot split on white space. That is the, the correct way. So what we do here is we take the binary text, we split everything in that uh, string up based on the um, white spaces. So here we will make a, a cut, here we will make a cut and so on. So all these will be individual elements. So the C here in the list comprehension will be one such thing here one such binary number. And we're going to take that C, we're going to feed it into the integer function to turn it into a decimal number, we're going to take the decimal number, feed it into the character function, which is going to give us the character and then we're going to join all of this together um, to a string and the result will be obviously, hello world, this is my message. So this is how you convert text to binary and binary to text in Python. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.